I'm Professor Rachel Batterham and I'm Head of the Centre for Obesity Research at UCL. I'm also the Head of the Obesity Services at University College London Hospitals and I also lead the obesity theme for the Biomedical Research Centre and I'm also a National Institute for Health Research Research Professor. Obesity and type 2 diabetes are two of the greatest problems facing the NHS. Um, about one in six hospital beds are occupied related to type 2 diabetes and we know that obesity and type 2 diabetes cause about 25,000 preventable deaths a year. My research is all focused on understanding how the body controls appetite and also blood sugar and in particular the role of the gut in how hormones from the gut control both sugar and also appetite. My research is absolutely embedded into the clinical service. So every patient who comes along to our clinical service is offered the opportunity to take part in research. And surprisingly, 99% of them really want to get involved and help us to understand how body weight is regulated, why they've been affected, and also to help develop new treatments. So I lead two teams and there's overlap between the two. So I lead the clinical team. So I line manage surgeons, psychologists, dietitians, nurses, exercise therapists. And then all of those team members are also involved with research. But within the research team, then there's also basic scientists, but they're also very much aware of the interface and their relationship with the patient. So it really does bring together science and clinical care into a big team, all with the same kind of ethos and drive to try and improve outcomes for patients. Involving the people affected by obesity and especially adolescents and younger adults is absolutely critical so that we can address the questions that they want answering and often they'll come up with a really key question like for example why a particular diet is more effective that then has led on to research. So one example is a patient said to me that they'd been following a particular diet and it was the first time they'd really not felt hungry. So on the basis of that, we undertook some studies looking at the effects of different types of diets on the hormones that regulate appetite. And we found that if you have a high protein diet, then that releases more of the hormones that tell your brain that you've eaten. So without that comment, I wouldn't have gone off and done that particular piece of research. For me, the NHS is like a family where everybody's striving to give the best care they can to everybody and really striving for excellence and improving to treat people with dignity and respect and equality. Actually, I'm really proud and privileged to have been part of it and to be part of it going forward.